Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing for the Test of Honour. Yeah, this is a slightly different unboxing because normally unboxings put them together etc. However, we already did that and the videos went missing. Yay! Yay! Now, we did kind of stop though, halfway through because mm. Test of Honour, see. Uh, we had some parts missing, or mm. wrong parts mm. packed, should we say, which I, I wish I went to Warlord Games about. Uh, so I had to stop halfway through the video anyway and then the videos got lost. So this is kind of a half an unboxing, if you want. And we'll do them all in one video, because we're going to do them in separate videos, but we'll do them all together. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can get an idea of all the add-on boxes, uh, with the exception of the Geisha and the Dice. Yeah. This is and what we've already got. This is everything. Um, so we'll start with Test of Honor, the uh, Masked Men. There we go. So we get in the box. I said these have already been unboxed. So we're going to get in this one. Uh, we have three of these large group bases. We'll look at the cards in a second. We get one lot of these. Uh, two lots of this sprue. There you go. Yep, the instructions for the Ashiguru, which is the sprue. And then you get a packet. These are the right ones, yeah? Yeah. So these are one of the ones that had uh, the wrong components. Mm -hmm. So literally they've been mispacked. They sent us an entirely new thing, though. Um, why well, it's not open. <laughs> that bit. And they sent us an entirely new pack of stuff. So it mispacked the wrong heads. And they sent us a whole new thing. So there's no quibbles about it. I just got onto them on the internet. And they sent us... New guy, and you had so there are the masked men heads, the proper ones. This is actually the first time I've had a proper good look at these as well. They look really cool. That's the same metal sprue, and then we have the monk there. So I just need to stick him on the base. So there's no point in really showing that because there's the base, some super glue stuck on. Done. And some of the other leaders already stuck together anyway, it was just him mm. was waiting for the parts. Right, so that's the Ashiguru. Exactly the same models as we put together in the previous videos. Um, but let's have a look at the cards that you get with this. So you get the Mass Man group. There we go. That's three guys. Cost of two. So that's the, the Mass Man. Another Mass Man group. Another Mass Man. We have Prayer and Devotion, which is mystical once per battle. We have Nemesis, which is a quest. We have Offering, which is mystical once per battle. Jump Kit, which is an agility. Coordinated Attack, which is a commander ability. Honourable, which is a quest. Single Minded, which is strength ongoing. Another quest, which is wise. Ancient Curse. Great leader, that's not on the floor. <laughs> Great leader, pure weapon, ignore pain. Then we have uh, Mashiar, as you say, Mashiaro, warrior monk. There he is, and he starts with the prayer and devotion skill card as well. But those are his stats. And then we have another mass man group because we're slightly out of order. Those are the cards you get with it. Um, as I said, all we're going to do is stick him to the base and he'll be done. I might do that now actually, while we continue through. So that's my set. <laughs> mine. Mine. Yeah. Mine. Mine it is. I hope you're not. <laughs> so there you go, mine. So we'll do one of Claire's box sets next. What have you got? I've got the uh, Pauper Soldiers. Pauper Soldiers? Yeah. Which I think we've got the dude over here. He's already somewhere. stuck together, isn't he? He is, yeah. So that's the the um, guy. Yep. That's the main dude. That's that quite a cool model. So he is. If, if you manage to see the video that was deleted, he literally comes in three parts. He has the quiver, the sword, and the rest of him just a single part model. And you can see that how it goes on. It's not really complicated putting the three parts together. Obviously, using super glue because it's all metal, it fits on the base quite nicely. 
It's quite a good poise actually that isn't. Very cool. So in this box set you get the Ashikaru missile troops. Yep. You get them all. You get three of the bases, the Greek bases, you get a load of new bases. Um you get the screws for the Ashikaru. But instead of using the heads on there, you get um pauper heads. So they have the uh, straw conical hats and yeah. some that have got so have you got some hats on their own as well? hats on their own that you can put like behind that they've just taken the hat off cool. and such like and then we have the cards so we have um, I hope that's on the camera uh, Senzo yes. the Thorn he, that's uh, this guy Senzo um, we have uh, one with the target, that's uh, ongoing, mastery. Uh, informant, uh, knowledge, once per battle. Uh, flip two feet, uh, so that's agility ongoing. And then we have the uh, pauper archers, uh, the group. Um, pauper musketmen. Uh, man of the people, that's a quest. Uh, healing herbs, knowledge, once per battle. Uh, pauper musketmen in a group again. Uh, pauper archers. Um, pauper musketmen. Hidden marksmen. Um, infamy once per battle. Um, protector. That's a quest. Um, we have the upgrade of a bow. Um, plentiful uh, sake. So that's coin ongoing once per battle. Uh, more pauper archers, pauper musket men, and a pauper archer. So these are all archer guys. Yeah, it's a fully ranged. Uh, if you like ranged, it's a fully ranged uh, little army. Little army though. Mm -hmm. Completely different type of style to play to the original box set. Mm -hmm. um, very cool. So, I do like this model. It, it is a nice model. It's a very nice. Model. It's uh, it's different. Yeah. Very different. And obviously, with this, you get in. One, two, three, how many guys are on there? One, two, three, four. Yeah. You've got four bows on there. And four, and four, on, there four well. on there. So you can have uh, four bows, four Eight. musket men. It's up to you. So actually you're going to probably fill two of these and then have um, two guys left over. Mm. So you've got a spare base. Yeah. If you want more troops. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. Yep. So. Uh, do the running next. Running. Running. Pass that over to you. Yep, there you go. Okay, so here is the running box. This one is mine. And I shall show you the running model. There he is. So this is the main guy. Armed with a club. It's pretty vicious actually. It's a, of, it's a very thuggish, shall we say. Mm. So in here we get the uh, single samurai sprue. Same as you get in the main box set. Also get uh, you get the guy that shows you uh, we'll get into here. This has already been opened and we can't open it. There we go. You get uh, five running heads. You can see them on that. So we get bases and we get two larger bases. Uh, these are all cards for him, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so just go through them in the order that they fall out. Uh, it's a running thug group. That's three guys. Group counts as being armed with katanas. There's a stat. A running thug on his own. A point. Uh, we have Tadashi. That is honoured. There he is. He comes with a dirty trick card. Which We'll see in a second. He's six points. Then we go upside down for no reason. Uh, another running thug group, another single running thug, another running thug group, and another running thug group. And then we're on to the uh, cards. Uh, so, slow acting poison, infamy. Uh, ongoing special skill there uh, for bribes. There's dirty tricks. This is the one he automatically gets. Oops. After being hit by a box. <laughs> Poisoned weapon, 
the lightning thrust, hidden attacker. So feel free to pause this. Scum. <laughs> that came out wrong, didn't it? Didn't Wealthy. Feel, feel free to pause this. Scum. scum. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I didn't mean that, Alice. Massacre. Explorer. Dangerous reputation. I have now. <laughs> Uh, another dangerous and another dangerous rotation. So that's what we've got in the. Some of these cards were separate, if I remember when we actually opened it up from the pack. I think which, was, which was in all of them actually. Yeah. Some of them had different cards. So I think they may have mispacked as well as. I think a few we had. Because uh, it tells you on the side how many cards you should have. Yeah. And I'm sure one of them had more cards than what it has on the side of the box. This, and I'm it sure this, this set Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure whether they're meant to have three lots of that dangerous reputation or not, but there was two in the pack and there was one separate as well as, as, well as another card. Yeah. So I would assume yes, and they just miscounted them initially. Mm. So the last of the character sets is Claire. Mm -hmm. So they're in all the Last of the character sets is Claire's. Which is... Which is the uh, mounted samurai. Mounted Samurai, excellent. Which I think we've got the uh, main model over there somewhere. Yeah, so this is the, the only plastic thing we have actually stuck together. Yeah. Which is the horse. There is a horse, of course. And there she is, the rider. She, and she comes in two parts. Is this main bit, and then a sword, which goes on the back. And that's where it's been stuck. And then left off the horse just for painting purposes we'll be stuck on afterwards comes with a, yeah. is it naginat i can't remember yeah, what they're called something like that yeah 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 she, she's quite a cool model actually she's very cool um so, so these are the only also plastic models that aren't in the original set so we've had samurai we've had a uh, ranged uh ashigaru and we've had no masco troops mm -hmm. these are the, uh, the on horses yep and you don't Here get these are. in the original box but yep. that's the sprue missing Sounds a horse, which you've seen. I'm going to throw things around today a lot, I can tell. And then uh, we have some of the bases there, the larger ones. Mm -hmm. And, and then Mounted the Samurai, the Riders. Yeah. Which again, is complete because we haven't built any of these guys. Mm -hmm. And then you get the... And then you get the Mounted Samurai instructions. And you also get of heads, if you wish to five use. five heads. Yeah. So. Although you may have considerably more. Probably. Because those are the ones that they sent an error. <laughs> what those? Yeah. So in one of the packs, I think it was the Mass Men one. Right. We've got another two. We do also. actually, yeah. So you've got plenty of them to go. Yes. Uh, so there we go. And finally, I have the cards. The cards. So here we have um, Balance, which is a uh, quest card. Um, that was. That was the a table. table. <laughs> Where? On yeah. camera. Yeah, it was the table, believe me. This is one hour video, this one. <laughs> it is this is what happens when we don't pause it. Over We've rehearse. got people scum and uh, I've rubbed along the table. Yeah, there we go. We've got Uncover the Secret, which is a quest. Everyone at home's going, I never had a table make that noise before. <laughs> We've got On the Above All, which is a quest. You're right there. Um, yep. We've got a Fable Weapon, which is coin, ongoing. We've got Powerful Charge. <laughs> Which is a strength. Why is that funny? I don't know. We've got class distinction, which is Anna, ongoing. Yep. Uh, brilliant plan, commander, once yep. per battle. Family heirloom, coin, ongoing. Uh, side of right, Anna, yep. once per battle. And we've got the, the, the dudes. So we've got uh, mounted hero. Yeah, so optionally, uh, unlike the other sets, you all just have a named hero. With this, you can have a mounted hero as your leader, because it's got the coloured in... Samurai. Ah, uh, yeah. This so is instead that. of taking her, you could actually take a standard main samurai, make them into a hero, a bit like in the original set, mm -hmm. and you could use this card instead of her card. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't want um, yeah. the widow uh, Takeda, you could have mounted hero, which is really good. It's a really good addition. That it's a good idea. It is a very good idea. Um, so we've got the widow Takeda there. Um, then we've got the mounted samurai. Uh, again, another mounted samurai. Uh, mounted Archer, yep. um, another Mounted Archer, another Mounted Archer, another one, 
another one. So you can have a shed load of mounted archers if you want to. So if you, for instance, had your original set and you just wanted some more normal samurai but wanted something a bit different, you could just buy this, not use her, and you could add on the mounted samurai onto your original set. Yes. Horses uh, add a lot of speed into the into the actual game, mm -hmm. which is quite good. So. Um, which we need to really test out because that's all in theory, guys. Yeah. We need to have a good test of that. Uh, for test of honor, mm -hmm. no pun intended. So the last box is actually the full plastic box, which is this one. Which originally we didn't unbox, but we'll just show you what's in it because you might be interested. Um, so this is literally one full set, one full faction from the original box. So we have plenty of uh, 25 mil bases. We have, come here. Come here. Uh, we have the, some of the, that's the samurai sprue, so that's standard samurai sprue. We have missile troops sprue, Ashigaru missile troops, and two lots of the Ashigaru spearmen, normal sort of troops. So with the three instructions, the, uh, the, and the. All the same as the original set. So that's if you want to add a third player into it and play mm -hmm. it three player, you can just buy one of these. Or if you want to expand upon the original, which is probably we're going to use it for. Yeah. Because there isn't enough parts to make all the bits from the original. And the other thing is as well, the um, the cards we noticed were exactly yeah. the same colour, although I think we, we confirmed yeah, they were a little yeah. bit darker, weren't they, than the original red set. So you get, you get uh, one, one, two, five of those as well. And then the cards, the cards, here we go. You see, they are just the same cards that were in the original set. There's slightly less of them, but they are red. But it's a slightly different red. It is. A, it's a dark. This is a darker red compared you can see to that. that. It's a slightly darker red, but not really enough to make a new faction. I think they should have been another colour that they would not use purple, yeah. maybe, because mm. then that would be between the red and the blue. The, the blue, yeah. No. But Especially the idea if was, it was going to be a third party yeah, that was going to play that, the game. That's the idea behind it, but. Honestly, you get a bunch of new cards there that you can use in the game. You've got the same ones that we've seen before. Mm. And if you want to build up more forces from the original starting force, you could do this. <laughs> or you could just buy another starter set. Yeah. Uh, but bear in mind, you, you get a full samurai sprue in this. If you buy a samurai, if you buy the starter set, you'll still only get one samurai sprue. Yeah. So it's like a better value maybe, depending yeah. on how many troops you want, basically. <laughs> um, so there we go. Mm -hmm. That's this rather chaotic and hard to put together video that uh, we're not really best than that but we did lose the originals. Where's mm -hmm. the other guy? Um, oh he's over here. You've it. hidden him. I've hidden him. He, he's gone into crouch mode. Hidden. Hidden model. Hidden model. Archer. Yeah. Right. So those are the four heroes that are available at the moment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> test of Honor. Now uh, we haven't forgotten the Test of Honor series. We've just been painting a lot of models and uh, getting ready for the new 40k coming out as well but we have finished painting our uh, new guys for the next uh, mission so there's my standard bearer just to give you a quick preview finished off turned out alright actually happy with them and um, Claire's is mine is here um, and anyway, you've got all your models already yeah he's, uh, this is my model that's your standard bearer my standard bearer yeah and um, also my sergeant. Yep. As well. So. Well, it was my game was a musket man. It was a musket man, yeah. There he is. So yeah, we're ready for the next battle. So that should be coming mm -hmm. soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, in addition, Age of Sigma models are now painted for mm -hmm. our Tale 2 gamers. So we'll be playing that very shortly. Stay tuned for that. We want to get that played before New 40k comes out and we start doing those videos. Yeah. Otherwise it's going to get delayed until after that, so we want to get that done. So, if you didn't know already, uh, 40k is coming out next month. Yay! It's pre-order on the 3rd of June, mm -hmm. which we will be pre-ordering it. We will. And um, we'll be doing videos all month on 40k next month. We've dedicated the month of June yeah. to the month of 40k. It can be New 40k month. Yeah. So you might not see the other stuff unless we get it done before that, coming out until after that. Mm -hmm. There we go. It all depends on whether we've got enough time to, to play all those battles. But the balls are painted. Even the trees have been repainted that I promised I would do. Yes. They're done as well. Oh. So we're ready to go with that. Mm -hmm. And also Skirmish. We didn't do a video on Skirmish when it came out on Saturday. Just gone. Because um, we didn't. 
<laughs> it's the best it can to that. Yeah. We're going to get time to. But it's only a short manual. So what we're going to do with that, we're actually going to run a skirmish with uh, Iron Jaws and um, Silver, Neth. Silver Neth. Just to show you off the skirmish game as well and how that works. Mm -hmm. So we might do that in between game two game, tail two game. As we might do that at the end of that. Uh, ideally, we'd have done it at the beginning, like the rise of a general. And I might even call it that still. <laughs> but this, this might be the return of my old general after being thrashed by the Silver Neth, which is. Probably more of what's going to happen. But uh, stay tuned for that anyway. Uh, we shall see. Mm -hmm. Orcs. Right. Silver now. Have you got anything else? No. Yeah, that's for all. a rather disorganised video. Yeah. We may as well end it as we began it in a disorganised manner. Yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, please support us on YouTube by. Um, by. Liking and subscribing. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And you can also support us on Patreon now if you want yep. more of this chaoticness <laughs> in your life. We're also on Facebook as well. You can like us on Facebook um, and occasionally update it on Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah. I have fallen behind on that. I'm yes. really sorry. Uh, but um, if you want to support us on Patreon, that'd be great. Uh, thanks to those who have so far. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It means a lot to us. And uh, hopefully that means we can buy more models or upgrade the channel, get better equipment actually not sit at my kitchen table what we're showing right now <laughs> <laughs> but there we go um so thanks for watching yeah all right so we'll see you for all that that we've just said yes indeed yeah well has gone blank I, I, i've lost she's the plot she's, like she's lost the plot <laughs> i think she lost it halfway through this actually to be honest guys she's yeah just, right so thanks for that Thank please like subscribe much. and we'll see you soon see you soon bye for now bye